Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Uh, we're here in Anne Orlando. Gonna wrap up a few things in this episode and then move on. Yeah, I think we just don't have the hips for this armor. I think we just, uh, I don't know. It's not really working for us. It's, it's not bad looking armor, just not really great on us. We almost look better in bulkier armor. I think we can rest here. Let's go ahead and level up. Uh, we've got our dexterity up to 15. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and get it up to about 20, and then we'll start working on strength, endurance, and attune, and, uh, and vitality, maybe. So we got only two levels out of that. Let's get to the point where, see, our next next level's 20, almost 23,000 souls, which is a lot. It's a lot of souls. Whoop. 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 Look at, look at that nice shading on the door there. What is this? What is Thou this? Hast journeyed far and overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. Hey, what's up? We're uh we just fought these guys out here and they were kinda really scary and uh I don't know, they were trying to kill me. Are you frightened for your life? Aware of illusory wall. Imminent open area. Oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day Father has formed it obscurus, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. The Lord Vessel. By the power of the Lord Vessel, you may now warp between bonfires. Hooray! It's a good day in Lord Duran. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Queen, and inherit the fire of our world. Thou shalt end it this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Oh, choose us. Thou hast journeyed far. You give us the same spiel? No. Oh. Okay, Inner Covenant. I'm not sure what covenant that is. We can talk to you. Okay, let's ready to talk to you. Yay. We had felt the warmth of the fire, its radiance and the light of its sustainers. Without fire, all shall be a frigid and frightful dark. Okay, cool. Now thou shalt go forth, chosen undead. May thou be one with the sun forevermore. There's our epic shot, leaving the room, the nice majestic music going. I'm going to take run into the door. Okay, so we have the Lord Vessel. Now we can warp, uh, which is kind of... It's definitely convenient. I think... For the, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think uh, for the sake of the game, though, I almost like having to traverse between the bonfires. I know a lot of people will disagree with me on that, but to me, uh, having to traverse on foot... It's like it's like when you play Skyrim. It's a huge world. It's definitely convenient to be able to fast travel. But uh, let's be honest. If you had to play the entire game, you know, using a horse or wagon or buggies or on foot... Yeah, it makes a whole different game. Maybe not, again, not everybody would agree with me, but, uh, despair. Okay, let's finish up uh, what we have to do here, and then we'll call this an episode. So, this is the way I like to go. And I do this, I usually do all this before I fight them, because I'm usually kind of, <laughs> usually kind of killing time. Right, try ranged battle. broken window here. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done this. I went the completely the wrong way. It's alright. We can, uh, we got a homeward bone. I, I did this in the wrong order. But no matter. Dragon Slayer Great Bow and Dragon Slayer Arrow. Oh, I take that back. I forget we can drop down here. So this is actually perfect. Uh, let's see.
Hey, Freddy, you know, Mo. Implies that I was afraid of you before, which I wasn't. So this door was uh, locked from the other side, but now we can open it and have access to this side. Which will be convenient, we'll see why in a second. We don't have our bow equipped, so we'll just kill him the old-fashioned way. <laughs> we just had, uh, we're having more trouble with this pair than we were with the orange chain and schmo. Might be a bit of an, over, uh, an exaggeration there. Okay now. Get back in your place. Collect our item over here. Tighten that chunk. Okay. We don't have a use for that yet, but we will shortly. Allows us to upgrade our weapon to up to plus 15. Or plus 14, actually. Who is this chap? There's a giant. Fatty ahead. It's not very nice. I'm in a chest. Blacksmith. So he'll modify, he can actually give us uh, these unique weapons using the souls that we've collected from the bosses. So it tells you up on the top up there, you know, Soul of Sif, Soul of Moonlight, Butterfly, uh, Soul of Gwyn, and then the price. And you have to have specific weapons that go with these specific souls to give you these, which are pretty cool. Uh, we could do the uh, Great Shield of Artorias, which is actually not too bad. And you can also do, apparently, I didn't know, he could do uh, Lightning. Lightning weapons, which as you can see will reduce the base damage, but add lightning damage. And uh, and it removes scaling as well, so any uh, dexterity or strength bonus goes away. There's your trade-off. What does he sell? Sells large titanite charts, first time I think we've encountered those for sell. The usual here, giant shield and giant halberd. Okay. And uh, moonlight arrows, which are magical arrows. Dragon Slayer, which are those giant ones. Uh, lightning Bolts, good for the crossbow. And then he sells the giant's uh, armor, it looks like. That's it. You come, I forge. Shiny, shiny. <laughs> Get shiny from Duke. Forge weapons. Make shiny. More happy. I don't know this Duke I'm fella. Smooth. We'll go sneak around back here. There's a chest hidden. Has the uh, hawk ring in it, which is a great ring to have. Hey, we're trapped. Let us out. Uh, let's see what the hawk ring does. Do, 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 do. Hawk ring extends bow range. One of the special rings granted to the four knights of Gwyn, the hawk ring belonged to Hawkeye Go, or Gao, or whatever, uh, who led the great archers. Boost bow range so that arrows fly like they were shot through great, uh, Gauss great bow, uh, which took down high flying dragons. I definitely like fast rolling, and I cannot medium rolling. I like that armor we had on, but it was it was just it hampers your movement so much that I don't know, I don't know if I care for it. So we we come up here and we're back in the main room, uh, albeit on the other side. We we went th out the stained glass right over there. Got this guy up here with his big bow. Can't decide if he wants to shoot us or uh, stab us. So we'll uh, we'll help him decide. Dragon Slayer arrows. Okay. Need humanity. I think that's I think that's it for right here. Uh, and we can kill these guys, but they're just, you know, they're enemies. If you want to summon Solaire, he's right here, uh, before the boss fight. If you're in human form, of course. 
And we can open up this this door over here at the front of the room. Which leads us back out to the main city. Uh, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. And uh, we finished Orange Danish Mo. We got the Lord Vessel. We were prepared to uh, move forward. So, uh, we'll see you in the next episode.